Greetings, salutations, and even hello. We're here in Aorta. I am me. I am not not me. We have uh, a little bit of unhappiness with the map. Fuck them. We got a couple stacks on both teams. We got Corbo and Naya together. Team 1. Voice comms. Uh, Call's also in the Discord, but he's not like in the voice chat. I don't know what that's about. He's a really good player. Flying Fool's also pretty strong. And they're all over here on OSP. Team 2. ANS, Mungo Parker, Crow, Captain Chaos. All in Discord together. And then they're joined by the Highest Lord Windows, who does not like this map. Does not like this map. Don't know why. It's a fucking great map. There's so much terrain here that it's all the map types at once. It's an open map up top. It's a closed off map on the bottom. You can flank around the outsides. It's got all these little weird little warrens you can run through. Arteries, I guess. And uh, so forth and so on. It's, it's a great map for any kind of vessel. Necronomicon girl. With rails. Okay. He's double rail axfords from Crow. Double rail axfords out of Crow. Oh man. Defenders? All defenders. I don't know about defenders, Chief. I bring rebounds on mine, but we'll see. Good luck. Oh, man. The ANS team is so heavy tonned. Why do they do this? It's like all... Why does this always happen? We got a beam with two stone walls. On Mungo's Axford here, Stonewall's on the side as well. What the fuck? And then just a normal fighting voxel. And then the Sprinter. Windows is bringing... Oh, what is this? Guns? So 450s, a rail, and a Type 3 backpack with 18 hybrids in them. Sarissa's Defender's Bullseye. Oh my. And Cass is probably bringing the, uh, yeah, the MBB. Festooned with stone walls and a couple defenders on the hips. And then a source offset. Naya over here with the container ship loaded to loaded for bear. I don't think he's going to perform very well against any of this though. Pretty heavily defended up. Call MDs. Little PD monitor. Oh, there's a Bloodhound monitor with PD on it. PWR tug. Plasma to Call always has weird builds because they're really well rounded and they can get shit done. I'm just not used to seeing that nebulous. Most people with 3Ks get pretty uh pretty dang specific with their fleets. I think my music is a little too loud, isn't it? Oh yeah. I'm looking at the meters now and I'm sure y'all can't I probably didn't fucking hear half of what I said. Lovely. Yeah, there's a lot of dynamic range on the Total War 2 Shogun OST. I've been fucking with the slider a lot during all of this. Flying Fool's bringing Plasma and 100 mil monitors. We're gonna brawl, we're gonna fight, and a couple Bellboard Scouts. OSP team pretty heavy tonned as well. I didn't go over Corbeau at all. Oh my god, I can't spell. Corbo with a pair of four feet. Oh my god, what is the point of defense on these? Bro, you can't be doing this. 
Well, I know why he's complaining that this is a bad map. He's bringing dumb builds. 450 Acellos with almost no point defense. Just a couple sources, a couple Auroras, and a Bullseye. That ain't enough, Chief. EWR Tug is really nice to have on hand, but I don't think it's worth giving up those uh, four slots. I think he gave up the roof. No, he's got the roof slot, so give up the two rear slots and then the nose slot. This slot right here. Ah, uh, that's some risky fucking business. We'll see if it pays off. In fact, we're about to see if it pays off right now. No, these are nice containers, right? I'm going after Alpha. I'm blind fire, but there's no quick scouts to be over there. I don't think the ANS. ANS is going to have a problem with the vision. Is the beam battleship's going to try to be sneaky? Oh my god. Cast doing the absolute worst thing that you can do with a beam battleship. And that's uh, fly around the entire outside of the map, go on a super flank. I might be able to catch these. Yeah, flying full is going for the lower Warrens area. I think the Warrens would be a better place for the beam battleship, not the outside of the map. Oh, that's completely insane. Naya trying to get a cute timing attack on Alpha. Unfortunately, nothing there, but he is going to... Oh, my. Uh, these do not have the range. I don't think they're getting Sarissid. Maybe they're getting Sarissid. I don't think there are any Sarissids in range, though. No, no, no. Oh, the rail is getting pounded by MD fire. Just can't get vision. Yeah, these two are spotted. The Op 4 is very much not spotted. I'm gonna drop it in the ANS team chat after this and just ask, like, so what did we learn? <laughs> I'm sure the OSP team is very confused after this. I... These are just more YOLOs. I hate I hate doing this. And I hate seeing Naya do this. He's a better player than this. He's just yeeting shit into the void. Like, ah, oh, maybe I'll catch something. It can be really strong when it happens, but it is just gambling. It's straight up gambling. That's not really it. It's not really what Nebus is about. You know what? Maybe I go in there right now. Actually, I can just drop into the ANS chat. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. Stand by. Five feet about here. And really strange fucking. Oh no, Dark here to harass us. Hi, Dark. Fuck are these containers. Are they mine containers? Uh, those containers are going. Driver. Those containers are going for you, Crow. I believe it. Someone bring a mine only key. What's going on? Bro, what is this battleship doing? <sighs> uh, being a battleship, that's what. Even though I said I was bringing one myself. Fuck. What are these containers doing? Do they think that we're on A? Sort of meme. Oh, hang on. There's no way the no, containers mines. like that range. Is mines. is the container ship up top? Yeah. If, wait. Which one? <laughs> Which one's the <laughs> 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 These ones here. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Hang on. Are the ones going over B? Are they mines? <laughs> If they're mines, that would mean that the container ship is exploit. about... The container ship is about here. Nice. Defenders. Defenders, baby! That's why I take them. 
Defender's good. Defender's excellent. Best PD. Uh, uh, There's three oh, can you tracks. Burn through? I burnt through. Don't see anything. Don't see anything on there. Okay. This battleship is detecting tracks. these I, uh, down here. The map. Yeah, they've disappeared though. I saw. Three I, saw all of them. I see no tracks. Yeah, by echo. Warning. Why is he putting a warning? Oh, I see. Something there. Shells? Yeah, there's three. Could position there. fire on these beams. They could be shuttles, could be tugs. They were moving Why is my... sort of fast. I wouldn't say they're monitors. <laughs> oh, man, it is not a good day to be on the ANS team. I wouldn't say they're monitors. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, dog. I think whatever Captain D has gone up onto, onto the roof and is now firing to take this down. They're having so many problems, dude. Yeah. Why the fuck? With Intel. I love this. This is so funny. Stop battering my front thrusters. If I peek D and I see it close, I'm sending my script to try and find what it's up there. Uh, plasma. Plasma? Uh, coming out of the tunnel oh, yeah. oh. Right, what should I do with my um, light cruiser? Should I just kind of hang it around A? Or should I help engage whatever's attacking our battleship? Oh, no wonder I'm going so slow. Two of my main thrusters got knocked out. Damn. Axford's just getting free farmed over here. Switchback is sending me a bunch of messages. Oh, that's a, a solo. I'll prioritize the solo. Let's turn this down so y'all can for sure hear them. I ain't fuck around with voice meter. I haven't been doing that, I've just been using OBS. But it's obvious I'm going to be sticking with videos. Oh, I need to start that game with me? That's making them actually useful. Are they playing? Uh, playing around cover. Well, look where my beam exit is. Oh, yeah. Where do you want me to go? Push them out into you? Or, like, um... Whatever you end up doing, it'll be useful. I'll push them into you. So if they try and take cover from me, they'll go into you. Somehow I'm not spotted. Yeah, that 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 container ship is definitely up to the roof. I am trying desperately to container the uh, defender heavy ship. It might work coming in from this uh, angle. Defenders. It's not gonna work. No, they're all gonna get downed. Yeah, cause well, one defender will kill all that, so yeah, there it goes. But we're probably trying to sneak an alpha cap. I just being so fucking gung ho with these containers, man. It's too much. This battleship continuing to fight. At this horrible angle. This is a fucking captain player, by the way. I don't get it. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a sick move. Oh, are these missing? Because if it's on purpose, it might not be. No, it's totally on purpose. Landed like that. Oh yeah. I love it. Okay, so you can see me because you can be seen through rocks with visuals. Love that. Am I 
I just missing containers coming into my ship every time I look away? Is this how you cap game with a heavy fleet? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Alright, I'm pushing those, um, that fleet into you. It's... So far, it's just a monitor and a... Uh, and a tug. It's, uh, it's very slightly more than that. It's not fortified. Those are bunkers. Those are bunkers down at, uh, at sea. I'm nope. just gonna let them have it. Hey, Charlie? Yeah, there's too much 455 for anything else. Oh, they're targeting me? Baby. Crust still getting bonked. Get railed. So this is the problem with, uh, oh my god, I cannot wait for this to come around the corner and defeat these things. This is the problem with sending the battleship. To the edge of the galaxy. It's actually going to work out. They're going to be able to hit, the, catch these. But usually, when you do this with a battleship, uh, off four is just huh. nowhere to be found, and you wind up going in circles for forever, and you're just kind of screwed. How clear is A? Uh, completely. I'm moving on to it. Nice. Well, they've got the monitor, the plasma monitor, and the tugboat coming in to try to kill me. But yeah, I know they're running from my um, running from my. Uh, yeah, I guess is gonna get torn apart with these four fifties at range. Ah, uh, they can actually see how far away these were from each other. How are we winning with this high tonnage? Oh, you're not. They have no idea that things are actually going really poorly for them. Because what's going to happen here is they're going to be up on points and up on cast. But around the 600, 700 mark, uh, they're not going to have any ships left. And the OSP is just going to be able to take the W. For free. Let's see if Mungo's got him beam range yet. Nope, he's still doing the dance. There's a problem with doing this. Yeah, just a very little tiny bit of damage to the nose of that Asilo, but uh, that is not enough. Meanwhile, this battleship is getting fucking destroyed by 450 fire in the flank. All those 100 mils aren't being very effective. And it's at top and center down. How are we winning with such high tonnage? Oh, that's starting to hurt. I'm immune to their damage. It's gotten closer now. Able to do some significant damage down the middle of that ship. These monitors not really in position to fire plasma, but they're getting there. Which is going to be a huge problem. Yeah, there's like a lot of plasma on me, and I can't see them. Uh, there's you one plasma the cannon down. Well, the one yeah, that battle short. Nice. Everything. It's gonna be another plasma it's down. It's so important to get those offline. It's not gonna matter. He's not gonna get another shot out of his lower. I think he's upper screwed too. Plasma's gonna add up so fast. Alright, well, we got a pretty good idea what's going to happen down there. This is about to get containered because it's been constantly slammed by mass drivers. Oh, that's not good. 
Still got the cap advantage, but again, they're gonna start losing ships real quick at this point. So that's going down. This is headed down. Well, maybe not. This battleship is taking an absolute fucking. And it's gonna start. Yeah, it's it's combat ineffective and it'll stay combat ineffective for the rest of the match. Oh, I just suck beneath me and I have no shooting at it this whole time. It's stupid. As these uh, Ocellos and monitors can just camp it and shoot it. For the next 20-30 oh, minutes. They can just sit down here and shoot at, at it. At least they don't know I'm here. They can cap Charlie. I don't know why none of them have capped Charlie. Like, I think this is going over there. Nope. Stuck in formation. Because yeah, uh, what do you need me to fire at, or are you out of fight? Out of uh, fight. Take care of the monitors, plasma monitors. Affirmative. Oh, he's out of the fight. And will be for the rest of the game. Might be able to get an angle on him. Oh hey, the, the rear beam. That was a lower target. You got it repaired. I'm surprised. I'll probably die. Pretty this quick. drivers hurt so much. Yeah, they do. I feel like they stack up damage way faster than rails. Like, it knocked out yeah. all of my front thrusters on both of my axe birds, and now I'm just kind of left being super slow in the maneuvering. It's the interesting problem with mass drivers. It's not necessarily that mass drivers are busted standalone, but in the current state of maneuverability, they are. They're too good. But that's easily fixed by fixing the maneuverability. There are a lot of problems in Nebios. Uh, that would be easily fixed it's by improving maneuverability of a wide variety of ships. Uh, I beamed in the middle of it. Alright. Well, I shot some rails at it. Now I'm going to shoot some rails at the other one. And they're going to go right down its nose. Hell yeah. Look at that. Those are some beautiful shots. Cells really aren't. Well, yeah, I guess they're still important. Those guns Ooh, are still shooting. Missiles. Main problem is the OSP has just chose to not cap things. Like with all three fleets, or two fleets down here? These two, like the whole front line went under the map, which is a really bad idea. Started shooting again. No, don't get distracted by shit. The enemy is securing his own hands. There is. Is that battleship? Uh, eight nine five. Which one are you shooting at? Sorry, the monitors. Four one twenty. That's what I'm firing at. Four one twenty. Hit it. I might not be able to hit it. And so remember I was um, talking about around the 500, 600, 700 point margin. Still shooting quite rapidly at you too. A and S would be basically screwed. Over there, just south of 600. Taking out some of the container banks on the container ship. And A and S is basically screwed. The enemy secured zone common. That's gonna be an OSPW probably. Said this ten minutes ago or so, and then I said it again ten minutes before that. And you just take a glance at this fleet down and you go, oh, ANS loses. Cause you have to have a well-rounded fleet. And uh three axards, two battleships. Go for five one ninety. Oh, that 
this so loud. I'm sorry. Just use Q. Prioritize. I'm very dyslexic. Yeah, but you should know where the keys are on your keyboard. Don't have that much to say. I kind of said everything. I, uh. I think we're a red. Fuck. I had to say it earlier. Yeah. Yeah. One of the benefits and mild disappointments of uh, no life in nebulous and watching yeah. so very many games. That's just kind of start to figure out. Yeah, most of my ships have been crippled. How games will go, yeah, just by a little bit of now. observation. The best drivers have me pinned at D. Fuck, I don't have radar. Some real tonnage gaming. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I said I was bringing... So, if everybody just says, Hey, I'm bringing a big ship. Uh, someone has to be the bigger man and swap to a small ship. <laughs> If you're inflexible, you're a part of the problem. Yeah. True. It was still a fun game. Good. We did have the cap advantage for a while. Which was sort of weird. Well, yeah, it it's not that surprising. Because the that OSP team surprising. was also really heavily tunned. Um, but in the long run, the OSP team can get away with that a little bit better because they can surround and destroy ANS ships more effectively because they have a little more speed. And, uh, and then cap afterwards. So you can ANS try the strat usually at the end of it. Um, they don't. 
I don't have the speed to get onto those points quickly and effectively. Think, live and sometimes you learn. think in many ways ANS actually demands more build diversity today. than the OSP does. Yeah, I'd agree. Cause you, you, you have to be well-rounded as ANS. OSP can get away with just because of how their holes are designed. No, just in terms of everything. Yeah. Is it that my back left radar panel is out? Because of how ships, their ship holes are designed. I mean, most ANS ship holes are designed to where you you can't really all in without sacrificing too much to make them Ooh, that so hurt. much that you make them less useful. Whereas OSP is really designed around that all inning idea in farming out your uh, support capabilities to other holes. So when they go, oops, all direct combat ships, they can, they can just do it just a little bit better than the ANS can. But the ANS supports wind up being better than the OSP supports. So they can afford to give that up and take a W that way. Rock gaming. What is my thing doing? <laughs> Stop rolling the wrong way. Oh, containers going into the solemn. Right in the butt. <laughs> Rock gaming. Yep, it's out. And I don't think Windows is taking this seriously at all. Is this memeing? Oh yeah, absolutely. On autopilot. Yeah, it's one of those players that has a million hours in the game, but it's kind of mentally AFK for most of it. Yeah. And, and Defenders! PC. Defenders, please! Something like that. I think we can surrender. <laughs> it's a little yeah. past time for that, yeah. Oh, no, I've got another salvo of containers to shoot down. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little past time for that, I think. There's a size ones. Specifically, those are size one AMMs that are air bursting <laughs> next to your hole and doing yeah. nothing, which is pretty funny. It's, take, it's soaking up the PD, though. The AMMs do literally zero damage to ships. Like, actually nothing. I'm, I'm gonna fight this container ship with my rails. Uh, oh, you ain't surrounded, Chief. Yeah, I'm just gonna retire. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm like this. Yeah, you should be. I tried. I, I also match. wanted this build. I wanted to try four FBA, but on the battleship, I think three FBA is as high as you need. Really. Where's Puppy when you need him? That's five Ooh. FBA battleship. If I can uh, suicide the Necronomicon girl, uh, Primal did put down some good damage. Uh, yeah, getting shot by mass drivers and not being able to shoot back, the correct answer to that is definitely not to fly through open space at the mass drivers and hope you get in range before you die. Well, that wasn't <laughs> what I was doing. I was getting into the closest two pits of cover that I could while I maintaining see. Speed. Because if I turned around, I, it required me slowing down and then getting pelted with accurate rail mass driver. Uh, I guess that's true. Oh. It's chaos. You did get that voxel. Why the fuck? 
did you go around the outside of the map with the beam battleship on like a uh, 15 was, minute flank? This was this was a test. This I wasn't I wasn't like I I just wanted to see what would happen. What happened is I lost. <laughs> okay, then I just had to check. Also, Naya, yeah, what it, the fuck's with the gambling? What do you mean? It's just firing containers at all the points right at the start of the match. Um, that was a fuck up. They were supposed to go to C. Uh, they were supposed to go to B, but I misjudged where I thought the hole on the heart was. So I, I went to the first heart, not the second. I see. Oh, that's brilliant. So you just completely ignored me when I was hiding around firing missiles from there. Then. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Amazing. Man, you almost I mean, burned through 12,000 rounds of... Uh... Okay, well, there's uh, a dumb and silly game. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Heavy Tonnage Gaming. I hope they learned something from that, even though it looked like they were the winner at the start. That No, that's not... It's just not how that works over the long run. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I don't have much to say about the AAR part of this. Maybe we covered that all during the video. It wasn't too hectic. It was easy to keep an eye on everything since the uh, ANS had so few ships. The OSP had so few ships too. I hope you learned something too, dear viewer, about the foolishness of overtunning your team. We'll see you in the battle space.